Hi, Merry Meet and Happy Easter. Please excuse my attire. As uh, you can see, I have just uh, washed my hair and um, I'm sort of just sitting here and waiting for it to dry in a towel. So, yeah. Normally, I prefer to look somewhat respectable when uh, making these videos, but I'm having planned a pretty uh, busy day. So, since I can't really do anything since I have long wet hair too far down my thighs I was thinking I might as well get this video done so yeah if you have a problem with a fat girl in a towel you know where the off button is anyway this is a video response to uh, the witches voices um, Monday host and basically what they were discussing was uh, S-Bats were Sun-Bats. And the reason I wanted to make a video response was that to me it seems like they have some misunderstandings about the various pagan holidays. Now, first of all, let me say that I have never heard about sun -bats whatsoever uh, when I searched for it to find more information I found a video by Wicked Jam other than that nothing so I have a feeling this is a pretty new concept now however uh, if I have understood it right it is celebrating the time when the Sun passes from one star sign to the next and I think that's a good idea. I think that might be a very interesting way to celebrate. So, yeah. I think that uh, as pagans, especially as neo-pagans, these rituals we do uh, connect us to the forces of nature that uh, are both our divinities and the sources of our magic. So, following these cycles can be very empowering. And I think that following the cycles of such astrological, um, and basically following them, uh, doing rituals when the, uh, when the sun shines just through the various signs, I think that can be a good way to add to that empowerment if you have the time for another uh, regular ritual and I also think that it can be um, very good if you are heavily into astrology for example and also if you use the tarot a lot because the tarot also ties into these energies that it can help you however what such celebrations are not necessary for is to add the god into it now um, the standard uh, Wicca-ish paganism, as in the one we that is very commonly practiced, where you have the eight sabbats and the um, twelve or thirteen. As, but I'm not saying that everyone who does this a Wicca. I'm saying that it uh, that uh, sort of scheme of celebrations has been made popular through Wicca. A lot of people that celebrate this who are not Wiccan, like me for example, just to make that clear. Anyway, basically, first of all, all the celebrations has both the goddess and the god in them, because they are one, and they work together and against one another, and basically, However, what you have, the moon celebrations, the aspects, these are more focused on the feminine aspects. They are focused on the night, the dark, the passive, the cold, and is in honor of the goddess. However, even in these celebrations, the gods are a part of it, because there would be no moonlight unless the sun, who of course is represented by the god, is shown its light down 
so that the moon will get its glow. On the same um, page, the Sabbaths, the seasonal holidays, are uh, in honor of the god. It follows the god's journey through his cycle. Basically, in Jill, he is born as the child of promise, the son of the goddess. Then slowly he grows up and becomes a man and marries the goddess and becomes her consort. And then he reaches the height of his power. Then he begins to wane. Then he is sacrificed for the good of the land and becomes the lord of the underworld until he is again born when Yul comes again as the son of the goddess. Now, the goddess is of course a part of these celebrations, just as the god is a part of the moon celebrations. But basically what the Sabbaths do is follow the sun. It follows the sun through the year. At Yule, uh, the sun turns. It goes from uh, the days become longer and longer and longer until we reach midsummer where the sun is at the height of its power and then it starts to wane and be the time becomes darker and darker and darker until it is reborn again when you comes again so basically the esbats are moon celebrations while the sabbats are sun celebrations there is no need to add another set of celebrations to get the god in there because the god um, the main focus on of the sabbats is the god and his energies while the main focus of the esbats is the goddess and her energies however in none of those do we focus completely on one side of course some do and I think it is a negative trend that within some pagan groupings and so and traditions uh, the goddess have gotten a lot more space than the god. Now to a certain degree I do this myself. I have more goddess related stuff on my altar. However, I am a woman, so for me this is natural. While I do connect with both the goddess and the god, I am more connected to the goddess. However, in celebration we celebrate them both. There would be no moonlight unless we also had the sun. Because the light of the moon, those are reflections of the sun that are tossed off the moon. So the god, the god is always there when the beautiful moon goddess strides across the sky. Her consort is by her side. And it's the same with the seasonal sun celebrations. It focuses on the journey of the sun through its cycles. But always at his side is the goddess. She is his mother. She is his wife. And eventually she is also the one that kills him. And there's why I think the Monday hosts sort of have made a mistake. They sort of don't see that the Sabbaths are, in fact, sun celebrations, so that these things are evened out. Now, like I said, I think that these Sabbaths sounds like a good idea, but I don't think they're necessary to even things out because things are even out by the Sabbaths. We, both, we have both moon and sun celebrations in the regular um, layout of rituals. However, I would love to hear more about these sunbats, and if I have gotten it correctly, that it celebrates basically the date when the sun moves from one astrological sign to another, I might start doing a little ritual at that time, Probably not a full ritual with a big circle and um, cakes and ale and all of that, but a small marking to connect me more to those energies 
because for me it's been very hard to get into astrology and get me into those energies and I think that such rituals can help. So yeah, now I would really have loved to hear more about this in your video, more about what the sunbats is and more about why you think that the sabbats is not enough of sun celebrations to balance out the espots and the moon celebrations that we do on those dates. So yeah, this is my video response. I wish you best, um, both of you. I hope you will feel better soon. Have a great day and blessed be.